Evening everyone, Mad Dog EDC here. Wanted to go ahead and take this opportunity and talk about my Maxpedition Beefy Pocket Organizer. I know I would said my next video that comes out is going to be um, part of my EDC video, uh, video series where I talk about a uh, portion of my EDC, why I carry it and uh, everything. And my next one was going to be my EDC belt, but um, I kind of got excited about doing this. So I decided to just go ahead and film this. I wanted to show it to another person. So I was making a video on it anyway, figured I might as well go ahead and upload it while I was at it. Maxpedition Beefy Pocket Organizer. Now I've seen several people talk about this and I say I wouldn't really recommend this for a pocket. Well, no, you wouldn't because of the size of it. I mean, look at this thing. It's it's massive. This weighs four pounds. Um, it's, it's a chunk. The pocket designation doesn't mean that it's supposed to fit in your pocket. It just means that this is the pocket. Um, it, it, it in no way does it mean that it's supposed to fit there this becomes the pocket now like i said this thing uh weighs four pounds it's uh massive it's big um but it holds a bunch the way i use this right now is this fits in my maxpedition condor 2 backpack that's my edc backpack currently and this kind of organizes all my extra items uh, now in that backpack, I've got a bunch of other things. I've got some things that are attached to the outside of it. Um, but this kind of keeps everything organized within the big pocket. I've got a uh, medical kit that goes in there as well. I've got an extra knee brace because my knees are weak. I've got some extra gloves. I've got some socks in there. I've got a uh, change of shirt in there. I mean, just different things that are there. So this is nice and easy to just reach in. You've got this wonderful carry handle right here where you can just it right out of the bag i'm not utilizing the molly strips at this time with it but uh that's kind of it right now so let's go ahead and break into it you can see um there's nothing here in the mesh front it's way too loaded to be able to get anything really down in there so it's kind of pointless so let's go ahead and break in inside it and uh see what we got and kind of lay everything out here as i said this weighs four pounds and that's why because this thing's just loaded to the gills so start over here on the left this is a matco four inch adjustable wrench it's not really good for anything major you're not going to put a lot of torque on this thing to either crank down on something or to loosen something up um jaws a little slack on it i've had it replaced one time before but this thing uh, used to ride around in the pocket all the time but uh, now that I have uh, 125 millimeter Nipex Cobras, which these are the 150s, but I carry the 125s on my person, uh, this kind of got relished down to the backpack. So, this is a SD card reader anchor. Um, you got the USB A and then the USB C there. I can take a large one or the micro, the regular size SD or the micro SD. Uh, helpful for my um, trail cameras when I'm pulling cards out of them i can go ahead and plug this into my phone pop that in there bam i'm able to view my pictures um i do want to get a large sd card um i'm thinking like 128 gig or something like that and just have on hand that i can use this as a flash drive but uh something later on it's on the list of things to acquire it's just a el cheapo pocket screwdriver off of amazon uh used to have a magnet in it magnet no longer exists don't know where it is uh, you got two different sizes of Phillips, two different sizes of flat bits. Um, helpful always to have just a, just a tiny little screwdriver around. Of course, a Sharpie. Um, always shipping things out, so this is real nice to write on the uh, shipping boxes, uh, shipping labels. Other than that, also, it's a good uh, backup if you're doing some carpentry work or something like that, marking on 2x4s, things of that nature. Um, fence building, I use this a lot in building fences and such. So, <clears throat> just always helpful to have a Sharpie on hand. Extra ballpoint pen, this is large, clunky. This is just a tactical pen off of Amazon. It's got a uh, carbide glass breaker on the end of it. I have a Fisher refill in this, but it's just kind of... It's really light, but it's just too bulky and clunky to have in the in the shirt pocket. Just an El Cheapo pair of uh, vice grips. I don't hardly ever use these things, but 
they're just there in case I need them. If I'm going in a store or something like that, I'm not going to wear my hat. It's nice to have a comb on hand, make myself look presentable. Got to represent um, not only just my business, but also the volunteer fire department, church, things like that. So uh, I carry a Leatherman on me. Usually it's the good old Leatherman Surge, hashtag Surge is King. Uh, but I'm in a challenge right now where I'm EDCing a Leatherman Charge ALX. So the Surge is kind of uh, in my backpack for right now. It's kind of just a backup in case I need any of the different stuff. For me, the uh, oh, the blade exchanger with the T-shank is just invaluable to have. And then also having the uh, pair of scissors, the shears right on hand is just, just dynamite for me. So that's uh, another topic for another time, but I carry a backup. I have a set of these that's on my person, but I just carry a backup set of bits there. Leatherman Croc, I gotta eat crow on this one because when I was a diesel tech, I would have laughed these things to scorn. Um, these little pocket wrenches, things like that. Yeah, you know, oh, that's just a gimmick thing. But no, this thing's actually legit. Package opener, you got scraper, you got pry bar, you can use the quarter inch driver, you got the standard and metric wrench sizes there. There's plenty of jimping there to be able to get some good torque down on it and everything. And that, that thing's actually legit. I carry one of these on my person, and then here's my backup. So. This is the charging cable for extra charging cable for my battery pack. Get to that here in a second. But also my uh, earbuds. Uh, this is the charging cable for that battery pack as well. I'll go ahead and take this now. This is a Tenergy 2600 milliamp battery pack. I get about half of my cell phone charge off of this thing. Real nice to do. Uh, just, just it, it's not enough to keep it fully charged, but it's enough to give me that juice to get home in case I need it. And also my earbud case is a 2600 milliamp battery pack as well. Uh, so I could easily plug into that and charge my phone off of that as well if I needed. Um, this is extra charging cable USB-C for my phone. I've said in another video how invaluable I believe that disposable toilet seat covers are. So I keep extra ones there. Um, I got two cards, of, or excuse me, three cards of moleskin. And this is already pre-cut into different shapes. Uh, so all you gotta gotta kind of do is just peel it off and, and go with it. So moleskin is nice, handy to have, uh, and then a small piece of Kydex with about 10, maybe 15 foot of duct tape on there. Um, that's come in handy a couple times. Uh, I've had to replace all that on there a couple times there. So moving over to this side, I've got a small uh, wintergreen mint from Cracker Barrel, small tin here. I've got to get a needle kit for some reason. I keep forgetting to order one of those, but that's why I have that there. Is uh, that's actually serving thread um, for tying in um, knocking points and peep sights on my bows. But I just I just kind of wrap that around a uh, old thirty out six shell. Um, so just in case I need some thread or something like that. But a lot of good it does me not having a needle, right? Super glue. I just keep this small thing of super glue. If I'm going to use it for any medical reasons, it's nice to know that it's already sealed. Don't have to worry about anything, but it's just a little small thing on hand. And I have it in this tin so that it doesn't get damaged and leak inside my pack. Lip balm, chapstick. These are the 180 millimeter, um, excuse me, 150 millimeter uh, Nipex Cobras, six inch. Again, I carry the 125s on my person. But just to, having a little bit extra grip on hand is helpful. These are the 160 combination pliers for Nipex. Um, handy to have in this as well. Seven-way screwdriver. Obviously cobalt by the colors. Um, just extra screwdriver there to have. This is a, bit, a security and anti-theft bit kit I picked up at O'Reilly's the other day for $10. I just thought it was pretty neat how I could close it up and just stick it down here in the corner. Uh, nice to have on hand. When I was a diesel tech at Ford, I bought this in 2015. It's got two different settings on it. You can see how bright this rascal is, but it's also uh, magnetic. So uh, you can uh, stick it underneath the hood of a truck when you're working on it. Nice floodlight. Um, LED takes three AAA batteries, lasts forever. Just real nice, handy to have. 
Um, roadside emergencies, you can flip that sucker up underneath there, shining down when you're trying to change a tire or something like that. Oh, gives you plenty of light, especially when it's dark around. So, yeah, nice to have. This is my backup Leatherman that I carry on me. This is the Leatherman Flare, a uh, obviously long discontinued model. But um, you're going to laugh at this, but one of the reasons why I keep this on here is because it's got a fork on it. Now, and you can't do much damage with that thing, but I, I carry a titanium fork and a titanium spoon uh, in my backpack or in my lunch kit. But uh, every once in a while, find yourself needing a backup. And then also, I've just got a backup blade, I've got a backup screwdriver, I've got a backup scissors, backup pliers. I mean, it's just, it's always handy to have, you know, two is, uh, two is one, one is none, right? So, extra Leatherman in this pack here. We Hobbits um, picked these up at Lowe's the other day. They were on sale. It's always quite fun. Nice little standard, uh, just your typical sizes you may run into. And then on the back side, you've got your bit extender there. And then just in case I get bored, I've got Maxpedition all-weather waterproof playing cards. You know, who knows? I may, uh, I may end up needing, uh, having to sit on a job site or something like that, getting bored and decide I want to start playing some solitaire or something like that. It's just something fun to have. Um something I just decided to throw in there. It may end up coming out. Uh, this is gonna change. This is not staying the same. I've got other things that I want to put in this kit. I've got things that I'll probably end up replacing out of this kit. I have an entire Amazon list, which I'm kind of using as just a idea board. Um, there's some titanium stuff I wanna get to replace some of these items, some of these things. There's uh, some different stuff I, I need to get and want to get. So. Uh, some of that stuff will come from Amazon, some of that stuff will come from County Com, some of it's going to come from different areas. So it's just kind of my idea board, and this thing's going to grow with me. And, uh, well, it's, uh, my, my idea for this is to actually end up with another one similar to it that is going to be a emergency truck kit, a tool kit. I want some sockets in here, I want a ratchet, I want some wrenches. Uh, screwdriver, light, um, just different things I might need for like a roadside emergency or something like that. So I'll end up uh, making a copy of this with some of these items and some different items. So it won't be as much EDC things, but rather an emergency thing that's going to sit in, um, underneath the seat of the truck. And uh, if that works out well for me, I'll have one that'll go in the wife's car as well. So be on the lookout for those things. As I said, I just kind of got excited about making this video because I just got this thing put together. I've been carrying it for about two days now. Really like having it. It's really nice, handy, really accessible. Um, so easy to pull out of my backpack, easy to have on hand. And it just keeps things contained. Um, it's just a handy pocket to have things organized in. The Maxpedition Beefy Pocket Organizer. Um, Next video that's going to come out, I promise, is going to be my EDC belt. I just had to get this thing cranked out. I was too excited about it. So be looking for that one at the uh, end of the week. Um, probably going to try to do some regular up, um, uploads on Fridays uh, for my series or the, the stuff that I'm working on. But uh, you may end up seeing some bonus material throughout the week as uh, I have opportunity to video some things and have opportunity to uh, try some stuff out and uh, just show some little stuff here and there. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, and above all, please share this video out to your social media outlets, share it on Facebook, share it uh, wherever you uh, love to camp out where you're, you're sitting there. Do me a favor, uh, advertise the channel, push it out there. If you give me a subscribe, I promise you I'll subscribe back to you. I'll help you out, You help. Uh, we'll help each other out as we grow down through this. Uh, something new for me. I'm brand new to this game, so I appreciate all the advice and all the help that I can get. But uh, for now, that's going to do it. So appreciate it again, and uh, Mad Dog out.